Hi guys, Feto Gamer here. Today I'm going to be playing Gradius 3. So I'll do a bit of a let's play, give you some commentary. Um, I'll try and give you my opinion of it uh, as we go along. However, this game is extremely addictive and very technical. So at times um, I might be concentrating on what I'm doing and might not say the right thing. Um, and then vice versa, I might be concentrating too much on what I'm saying and then not play the game properly. So I apologize that I'm probably going to be a bit of a weak player in this um, just because you do ironically for a game that's uh, what 18 18 19 years old this year um, you do actually need a lot of concentration so also want to give a quick shout out to last gamer who gave me some really good advice um, about copyright and YouTube videos so you might notice that there's no music playing in this so um, bit of a good story about that as well. Um, so in this game, I was looking for a way to disable the music, um, and there isn't one basically. So not in the game settings. So what I was able to do, um, oh geez, I haven't got anything. Uh, what I was able to do was basically start the game up and then, uh, load up this game and then just take the disc out because the early games playstation 1 playstation 2 games were basically a very small game with a large audio file attached so a wave file um so without the disc in there they can't access the oh this guy's gonna kill me no uh they can't access the um audio track therefore no music plays uh, anyway, back to the game. You may have noticed that um, down the bottom there, so you've got um, a thing that says speed and it's lit up at the moment. So um, that's your power up. So these little orange things give you your power ups um, and you earn them by killing anything that's orange or a group of enemies that are orange. So this guy down here, if I can get him, will give me an orange one. Oh my goodness. Um, so, the ones are down the bottom, apologies that I'm distracted, but so the first one's speed up, then you've got missile, then the next one is double, then you've got laser, um, option gave me that little, um, orange orb you saw there, um, and then the next one, question mark, is whatever shield you chose, and the explanation mark in this one is a detrimental effect, so... Um, it'll make you, uh, slow down or make your ship smaller or, um, a variety of different things that sort of penalize you. So that's basically, if you've gone too far, collected too, oh, you bugger, too many power-ups, um, you basically have to take a disadvantage one in order to reset it, so. Oh my goodness. Um, now... Things I like about this game, it is, like I said, it's very addictive, but the gameplay is just solid. It's not, oh, I knew I was going to die there. It's not like a lot of modern games. So a lot of the modern games nowadays, it's all focused around, um, you know, keeping people playing, little gimmicks, releasing bits of content uh, slowly, uh, DLCs, things like this. This is just pure gameplay. So um, the graphics... You know, compared to modern day games aren't anything, but, you know, if you had a couple mates around, you could play this all night. It is really great fun. Um, the thing I also really like about it is that your um, main incentive is your high score. Um, so, ooh, sorry, trying to get some power-ups here. Um, you know, which I think is good, because you could pass a level but not necessarily get the highest score um, but you know if you sort of kill everything and you do everything right then you would get the highest score my goodness this is technical the other thing obviously um, I did a review of Raiden uh, before which is a vertical shooter this is very different you'll notice at the moment I'm in this cave um, so if I went too far up too far down which I almost did then um, I'd actually die So really uh, interesting dynamic, makes you really have to think of your surroundings. Also what, um, you know, getting close to the things up there is difficult. 
Um, hence why I can't kill that little green one at the moment. My goodness, I thought I was dead then. And that's why your power-ups and so on are so important. So see this double? That enables me to get anything up higher. Oh, man. I'm going to have to chew. Oh, come on. Oh, that. Oh, man. Uh, that was almost very silly. Oh, how did I get through that? How did I get through that? This is the furthest I've ever got. I don't know what's coming up now. There's lots of shiny things. Lions and dragons and things shooting. My goodness. I cannot explain anything about this game at the moment. Sorry, guys. That's intense. Look at that. Oh, I kept my double. That's good. I lost my option, but that's all right. Oh, you bugger. It's my last life. So, anyway, guys, I guess, uh, you know, what I'd have to say about this, it is something, obviously, I recommend. Very addictive, very good gameplay. You do also get Gradius 4 on this as well, which I will be doing a separate review of. Um, I was going to do it all in one, but because I've taken the disc out, I'll, I'll actually have to reinsert the disc and it'll just be too much stuff around. Also, if you only want to see Gradius 3, you only have to watch Gradius 3 and vice versa for Gradius 4. I do remember playing uh, more of Gradius 4 when I was a kid. I should also mention as well, this is my original game from when I was a kid. I don't have the case or the booklet for it. However, it is my original game. So a bit of um, nostalgia there for me. Um, which is uh, good. Uh, I don't know what... Oh, that's game over. Um, so yeah, very good game. Very interesting dynamic. It's um, quite intricate in the fact that, you know, you're leveled by... You're limited by the levels. So in terms of going higher and lower, you're also um, in a bit of more control of your power-ups rather than like a Raiden game where you've got you know, like a blue or red or purple, and then you just select multiples of that item. You've actually got to choose which upgrades you use when for which section. Um, so there's a lot of strategy in that. With this game, it's all about learning the levels, learning the enemies, learning their move sets, learning the technique, and then mastering it. So there's a lot of um, education that you've got to put into this game, but even just picking it up and playing, it's a lot of fun. Um, so definitely recommend it. Grab your hands on it if you can. Uh, I don't know if you can get it on the Xbox Live Store or the PlayStation La uh, PlayStation Store. Um, however, if you can pick it up, I guarantee it's at least a good good night's worth of gaming. I'm Fatso Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching Fatso Gamer. Please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.